Here you go, buddy. What do you think? Congratulations. <laughs> Look, we got you in your helmet, too. Goes with your bike. Last Saturday, August 9th, uh, we had a 43-year-old gentleman. He was riding his bike down McHenry Avenue. He's uh, both um, physically disabled and mentally disabled. He uh, was approached by two teenage boys. They assaulted him, and they stole his bicycle. Now, his bicycle is a red three-wheel Schwinn. It has a basket on the back, and uh, they took this bicycle from him, leaving him there on McHenry Avenue. Uh, his physical uh, handicap, he has to use a cane as he walks, and he had to walk several miles home. Uh, when he got home, he told his mother what happened, and uh, of course, the Modesto Police Department responded. We looked for the individuals. We weren't able to find them, but uh, after after the story ran in the Modesto Bee on Monday, um, we had a number of individuals who called the Modesto Police Department wanting to donate money, wanting to donate new bicycles to this uh, gentleman who, who uh, had his bike stolen. And it really was a great uh, outpouring of support for this, uh, this, this man. He's been as far as Sonora, and then one time I picked him up in Newman. So uh, he rides that bike. He rides it um, all day long. I mean, that's, that's his joy. That's what he gets. You know, he can't work and, and stuff like that, but he loves his bikes. He was in motocross, uh, the BMX bicycle racing. He placed number 27 in the Nationals in L.A., and so that's how good he was. I was very angry uh, because I saw him walking, and I realized, you know, what? We, in, the, in the true sense of, of the word of being a victim, we have a victim here. You know, it took two um, persons that were heartless and didn't care about, you know, they just saw a person here that they could take advantage of. They pushed Elmer off his bike, and they took his bike. I mean, it was to the point where Elmer can't even give me a description or remember it. I was pretty incensed about it. Uh, I went back to the area and looked, and, and I realized, you know, we're going to have a real hard time uh, finding, you know, anybody, uh, you know, that's, you know, unless I see them on the bike, it's going to be difficult. When it gets to the point where something is taken away from a handicapped person, that's getting pretty serious. We're looking for these individuals. We want to bring them to justice. Uh, there's just other ways that officers want to uh, help people and uh, make them whole again. And this is one of the ways that we can do this.